Her voice is so sweet I won't need honey anymore So the bees will be out of work And the flowers won't bloom like before But you Hello, this is Dame Harper. My friends at allfreecrochet.com asked me to show you how to crochet a little snowman pin. For this project you need some white baby yarn and some felt scraps. First crochet two circles. A two inch circle and a one and a half inch circle to make your snowman. If you don't know how to crochet a circle, I have a how to crochet a circle tutorial you can look at. My white yarn has a little bit of um, metallic in it so that it's sparkly, but you can use whatever white yarn you have. This is a great way to use up leftover bits of yarn. I like to crochet over my ends when I can. It doesn't snow in Anaheim, so the best way I can get a snowman is to make one myself. You might want to leave the tail on for joining the two circles together. This is the two-inch circle. You can see it? <laughs> Using your yarn needle, go ahead and stitch the two circles like so. At this point, you can go ahead and weave in your ends. Now we're going to make a scarf for our snowman. And I picked yellow for mine. And I found that six inches long is good if you're just going to tie it through itself once. If you're going to knot it, you're probably going to need more, but I think that would make it too bulky. Let's go ahead and chain six inches. And when you get to six inches, cut the end off and pull that last bit through to secure it. And then trim the ends. I just tied mine once and it seems like it's going to stay pretty well. If you're worried that a child or something might untie it, you can always stitch it back here a little bit. There's mine. Um, I tied it on to measure it, but then set it aside until you put the rest of the decorations on. Cut out a one and a half inch square of black felt to make the top hat. Then you have to trim it into a top hat shape. I like this shape. I made it by making a slit here and here and then joining from the corner to the cut. The corner to the cut. It has a little more pizzazz than a straight side. I like it. I decided to use wiggle eyes, or you can use buttons for the eyes, and I picked yellow to match my scarf. I'm going to use little pom-poms. See the little tiny yellow one in there? There's some black ones in there. Here's one. I'm going to use those for the buttons. Or you can actually use little buttons. Here I've laid out everything. I'm going to use a little orange pom-pom for the nose. See that? You can use a little piece of orange felt if you'd rather. Nothing's glued on yet, so I'm just making sure everything kind of goes well together. These are pom-poms. Now I'm going to glue this down and dry it under something heavy so it dries flat. I'm using craft glue. It's thicker than white glue and it tends to hold little plastic on better and, you know, fuzzy things. Now I'm going to take three strands of dark brown embroidery floss, or you can use black, and make the mouth, the arms, and sew the hat on. 
I'm also going to use this um, embroidery floss to sew the pin back on, so I don't want to cut it off yet. Pretty cute. I'm using what's called backstitch to sew on the mouth. It's a very simple embroidery stitch. Making a little smile. You can make your snowman frowning or singing or whatever you want. Now I'm just using some tiny stitches to tack the hat onto the top of the snowman's head. And then I'm going to sew a few little beads on there for decorations. And I think he needs little eyebrows to help his expression. Feel free to add eyebrows if you wish or any other little decorations using what you have on hand. Remember, it doesn't have to look just like mine. Now I just have to sew on some decorations and the pin back. This is a uh, big eye needle. There, now you can see it. I'm going to use it to uh, sew the beads on with using um, a strand of embroidery floss. On mine, I'm using white beads to represent snow. On yours, you could use those or red beads to represent berries or whatever you like. I think that'll about do it. Now I have to find a pin back. The thing I love about snowmen is it doesn't matter what religion you are, you can still enjoy a snowman for winter. There we go. Now you can see him better. Now if you want to make this super nice, you can cover the back with felt. Um, I'm not too worried about it. I just want to get done with it, so I'm going to so the pin back on it right here and wear it. I think the best place to sew this is right behind the head. If you put it down here, it's going to fold over. If you put it on the hat, it's kind of a weak area. So, um, right there. But now she rules over shops and flats and minor diminished chords. She's the princess of Regina. Enjoy your snowman on your hat or on your winter coat or wherever you'd like. Toodles! For you know you want to listen, that's why you're here. She's the princess of Regina. Drink your latte without fear. She's the princess of